intro. We're going to start off today. Adventure. We are down, of course, in the Snake River. But we are not going to fish the Snake River right now. We might head to the Snake River after this. You see that waterfall in the back? Banana. Bad luck for the boat. Good thing I'm not on the boat. But yeah, so I'm going hiking to <clears throat> Bluegill Lake. And it's in, at the end of the Snake River Canyon Trail down by Centennial. We're going to head there and try to catch us some largemouth. We'll see what happens. If it's nothing crazy, they're usually nothing big there, but they got a lot of little small larges there. We're going to see what we can get there. If nothing crazy, we might hike to over there. You see over there where that waterfall is at? There's a, a bridge that's like broken. They call it Broken Bridge. They're currently fixing it so people could go across again, but we might go there. So let's get to it. All right. So I'm here, as you can see, at the lake. I got to walk through the spot real quick. Sorry about the light. It's a little, the sun's right behind me. Whew. It looks a little deeper than usual. I can still see a bath ring over there, though. I don't see no bass right there. I'm just going to hurry up and get to there. Let's catch a dang fish. Don't want to drop my pole. There's not a lot of places to sit the camera, guys. But, dang, I did a, like maybe about six casts. Six casts. Got it right in this area over here. And he just went for it. On the little, it's like bubble gum, yellow, yum dinger. It's my new favorite bait, the yum dinger, but definitely any Cinco bait is really good right now. Whew. Heck yeah, look at that, guys. That is a pretty nice one, about a pound maybe, about a little bit under a pound. We're going to get this guy back. Whew. All right, let's get him back, guys. Get this guy back. I got him right down at the end over there. Whew. Heck yeah. All right, so I'm gonna make a few more little casts in the same area. I see some stuff over there moving. I need to switch to a topwater frog. That's the that's what everybody comes here to fish for, it's topwater. It's like always the best topwater fish in here. Even though they're little small fish, still the best topwater fish in here. It's always super good. And this time of year, that's why I'm surprised I got bit on the... It's such a single, it's such a good bait. That's why I got bit, but I'm surprised. I'm, I thought for sure I, I would have to switch to like a topwater frog. Or like maybe something weightless to get it out there to get the fish to bite. Cause they go crazy for the. Oh, thought I had a bite. Come on, guy, go for it. Nope. So a little bit closer to the bank, a little bit. Fishing here, you could fish with like uh, top water frogs and catch giant frogs on the top water frog, which is always really crazy. And always fun. Ooh, I got bit. The, my last bite, I felt it, but then it just, it had it already. It took off. I probably should walk around. I'm, I'm definitely going to walk around a little bit more and jump on one of those rocks like you sight fish these fish. Right, I'm going to do one more throw close to the bank. And then... Oh, perfect throw. Perfect throw. No, yeah. I 
I'm bouncing it right through the weeds too. I can feel it going over every little weed. I'm getting stuck. Oh, getting stuck. I felt it get stuck. All right. I think I'm going to walk around. Definitely. I think I'm going to switch to a more... A more natural color Cinco watermelon probably this Cinco is so bright they're like what is that a banana fucking oh sorry for my language all right let's get over there I had to cover up my face. The sun is beaming. I didn't want to sunburn. And I got my Bud House freaking whatever it's called thing. But check it out. Got this little, I switched it up to this more natural style Cinco. Yum dinger, but dang. Got them. I got them out there this time right in front of that, that gate um, that protects the fish from escaping into this other pond, retainer pond. But yep. Woo. All right, I'm gonna try to get this, not try, I'm gonna get this guy back, and then I'm gonna throw in the same area. It seems like they were like, I was getting a lot of bites right there. Let's see what we can do. Woo! So I got another one. I'm gonna get him back. Woo! He's a pretty good size little guy. I'm trying to catch some bigger ones. It's mostly what's in this pond is a lot of smaller guys like that. Ah! Almost fell. I'm going to walk around over there to where those rocks are at. Alright. So this is probably like my fifth or sixth bass I've caught. Whew. There's a bunch right over there in that little thing. I'm going to try to pitch to them real quick. Maybe I can catch one. Let's see. So I got wood on the top water. I switched to the frog. He was right in all of this little brush right here. I literally had to drag him through all of that to get him out. Woo! It's one of the bigger ones I got today. It's pretty nice, about a pound. Definitely. Woo! We're going to get this guy back in and continue to fish. We got another hour of fishing till we got to go. Let's go. All right, successful day of fishing. Woo! Headed back to the car. Got to get my daughter from school. And then we are headed to maybe do some overnight fishing to try to catch a sturgeon. Woo! We'll see how it goes. Oh. All right. We're gonna get to the car. Sorry, I was running, jogging a little bit. Can you believe I went all the way to that corner right there on the other side? Didn't catch a thing in that shallow water. Whew. All right, I'll get to the car, get my daughter, and then take her somewhere. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Everybody have a blessed day. Whew. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my shorts because they're freaking awesome. All right, guys. Peace. Stop on my way home. Caught this giant smallie.